I confess, I'm not big on making resolutions for the new year or for any time. A recent tweet by Harvard professor and author Amy Cuddy poured cold water on the concept of resolutions by saying that they fail because, in part, they're all too absolute as well as too focused on outcome rather than process. Indeed, research shows that only a tiny percentage of people really fulfill their resolutions in the first place. So my thought, not a resolution really, is to focus on better for colleagues, family, and self. Note the absence of the word doing. I'm thinking of better as a concept or process. Thank you, Dr. Cuddy. And you can define process for yourself and implement it accordingly. Make better specific to your choice of actions. Better for me means being a more supportive friend, relative, or colleague. Being there without being asked. That is, where's the need to pitch in without being asked? Do things to make people happier. It could be as simple as smiling more or offering to hold the door for someone. Do so in a spirit of openness, not obligation. You might define better as involvement. Pick your topic and put yourself into it. For example, look at your job. If you're deficient in an area, bone up on it, either through study or asking for help. In your community, look around you at areas of need. What could you do to make things better for someone else? To add steel to the spine of better, let's include the admonition, no whinging. That's the term the Brits use for whining. I saw the two words paired together in something I recently read that made me think, yeah, that's a good thought. And if it were any better, I'd remember the source. Sorry, better next time. Whinging depletes our energy. It draws us away from doing what we should be doing, not simply for others, but for ourselves. Whinging is the enemy of better. Notably, we'll fail many times this year, either at getting better or something else. But if we focus on the positive, like better, we'll be pointing ourselves in the right direction.